Hey everyone, we're at Zigzag Sewing Studio in Birmingham, Alabama today and I wanted to make a short video about how to solve your problems at home. We are an authorized service center for Brother Machines and this is the PE770 and people, uh, a lot of people buy this machine so we see it brought into the shop for service and repair quite often. And today I want to focus on how you can solve problems on your own at home. I know that when you're using this machine sometimes you will encounter problems that can be very frustrating and it's even more frustrating when you bring it to the shop and it has to be on hold for a week or two until the technician can get to it to solve a problem that really may not even be a problem it may just be a little bit of a user error Okay, so today, um, we, I have not actually looked at this machine yet. Um, I have only um, just saw this note here and it says, look at the hoop. It was serviced three weeks ago on 4-15-17. We used it for the first time on 5-7-17. Okay, so I looked at the hoop and right off, <clears throat> I could see what was giving them trouble. Um, there's obviously some tension issues going on and so now I'm pretty confident in our technician okay now every one, once in a while he'll let one slip by that has a problem that he did not recognize but for the most part he does an excellent job especially on the 770 because we work on this machine quite often okay so like I said I haven't run this machine <clears throat> I haven't really looked at anything on here yet and this is if I were the user this is what I would do at home if I were encountering this problem okay first I personally never use these okay because they cause a little bit of problem up here on the spool pin I know the manual says to use them I personally don't like to use them if I were encountering that problem on the back of the hoop, the first thing I would do is I would try re-threading the machine. Whenever you thread a PE770, you want to make sure that your presser foot is up. Okay, so let me take this thread out first. And normally what we would do when we're taking thread out is we would clip it here and then pull it out from the bottom. Okay, so we're going to clip here and pull it out from the bottom, okay? That keeps it from getting all hung up inside. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the machine calibrated. Okay, and I'm going to re-thread the machine now from the beginning. Press your foot is up, needle is in the highest position. Threader worked great, which indicates that the needle is probably inserted correctly. I'll go ahead and pull this down and make sure that the needle is all the way up and hitting that little round metal piece right there so we know the needle is inserted correctly. We don't, however, know at this time that the needle might not be slightly bent, but we're going to go ahead with our test and see what happens. Whenever you encounter a tension issue like this, it's a good idea to do what I call reboot the sewing machine. So I re-threaded it. Now what I want to do is I want to take out my bobbin case, make sure there's nothing in here. I don't see anything. And then make sure that this looks good. I will also test the tension on the bobbin case by putting the thread in and pulling the thread this way. It feels like there's a pretty good amount of tension on the bobbin on this thread. So um, we know from the fact that there's so much looping on the back side that the bobbin thread is pulling the top thread down pretty, pretty uh, heavily. So. Um, you don't want too much tension on the bobbin case, and I don't think that's the case here. You want it to just have a nice, firm tension. And so I'm going to reinsert this, making sure that the triangle is pointing to the dot. Then I'm going to slide this back on, 
Then I'm going to put my bobbin in correctly with the thread coming off counterclockwise and wrap it in around that path. I always hold my finger down on the bobbin as I'm winding it around so that it gets down in the tension slit. Then you put your little clear cover back on and now we're ready to test it and see what happens. See if we have the same problem that the customer is having. Okay, so let's just do A, B, C. And I'm going to move it up inside the hoop. Put my presser foot down and press go. So far, so good. 